Good morning. Great morning, Creep Valley. I wanted to say a quick thank you to Chris Credden for making such a wonderful show open. And I hope everyone's doing well. You know, like, it's starting to cooler, sweater weather is in the season. I'm already starting to wear my warmer shirts. And speaking of fall, we have a fall Equinox video from Maya herself. Hey, Great Valley. This is Maya back with another video. Did you know that tomorrow's the first day of autumn? That's right. The autumnal equinox is on September 22nd at 9.30 a.m. It's time to start celebrating fall however you want to, picking pumpkins and apples, playing around in leaf piles, or even prematurely stuffing yourself with Halloween candy. We all know that Halloween's the best holiday, right? Anyone out there? Okay, I digress. You're not alone if you've wondered what the equinox really is. Scientifically, the equinox occurs when the sun passes through the celestial equator, which is an extension of the Earth's equator into space. This time of year, the sun crosses the equator from north to south. The reverse happens for the vernal equinox in spring, where the sun crosses from south to north. But there are a lot of different ways people celebrate fall around the world, not just by picking apples. Chinese people celebrate the mid-autumn festival by gathering with their families and eating the iconic mooncakes. Mooncakes are delicious round cakes that represent the moon, as well as unity and togetherness. You can find them at your local Chinese grocery store, like Gong's Market in Fraser. Pagans and Wiccans have a holiday called Maybon on the autumn equinox, which is based around the harvest and celebrating nature. It's common for people to pick apples and grapes or have a feast on Maybon. Another autumn holiday that comes around this time of year is Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, which actually just happened last Friday. On Rosh Hashanah, Jewish people start reflecting on the past year and their own actions. This period of reflection ends 10 days later with the day of fasting on Yom Kippur. You might also eat apples and honey or challah with raisins on Rosh Hashanah to bring in a sweet new year. There's so much more to the holidays taking place around the beginning of autumn, as well as the science behind the equinox. This video just scratches the surface. If you want to learn more about the equinox, you can visit the Farmer's Almanac website on www.almanac.com. So blessed Maybon, Lashana Tova, happy mid-autumn festival, and have an amazing autumn, everybody. Alrighty, and after that, we have a wonderful piano video from Aditya. Before we begin to learn about the piano, we should first know what type of piano we have. In this case, we have an 88 key digital piano. A digital piano is one where all the sounds are pre-programmed onto the software. However, no sounds are produced acoustically. In the case of an 88 key piano, there are seven full octaves. If we are going from the top down, we have seven octaves from C to C going all the way to the bottom of the piano. Each octave consists of eight keys, starting with one key and ending with that same key, just the next highest pitched version of it. The white keys on a piano can either be read as C, D, E, F, G, A, or B. These white keys are called natural keys. The black keys are known as sharps and flats. For example, the black key to the right of C is known as C sharp. However, the black key to the right of C can also be known as D flat. So black keys are known as flats when the natural key you are referring to is to the right of the black key. But the black keys are called sharps when the natural key you are referring to is to the left of the black key.
thank you so much Aditya for such a wonderful video you know it kind of reminds me of the time that I spent playing piano and I played for roughly 10 years and eventually I quit but that kind of made me want to pick it back up again I think I'm gonna give that a try well either ways that is all that we have for your show today so don't forget Grey Valley stay warm stay cool and stay connected bye